Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohutech. I am Rohan from Rohutech.com and today in this video we will be talking about how to install WordPress on your MacBook Pro machine. To start with, let me tell you that it's been a while that Apple is shipping MacBook Pros with Apache installed on it. So you don't have to worry about any server to install locally in order to set up any website. So you just have to install MySQL on your Mac. For that I'll just link some good articles in the description so that there is no problem for you to install and get going for any of the WordPress websites or any of the sites installed on the Mac. So let's get started. So the very first thing is let's download the latest WordPress from the WordPress official website. Here it is, the latest WordPress is 5.7. I've got the zip file in the downloads folder. I'll just copy it in my sites folder. And these are under under sites folder. I have just added a few other folders. Okay. So this particular folder, as you can see, this is the sites folder. As I mentioned earlier that all the MacBook Pros come with the Apache server installed by default. Therefore, the built-in Apache server has a default document root set to uh, this location that is user local var triple w and you can change that in the httpd conf file here. I have just updated my document root folder to sites folder which resides in users slash rohu which is here. And in that I have then further segregated the folders as office and some of my self-help projects. And in that I have added WordPress zip folder which I have just downloaded. Now simply unzip this file here. Here we got WordPress too. Actually I already have a WordPress folder <coughs> and there is another folder as 5.5.3. So I will try to rename this to 5.7. Okay. I'll get rid of the zip folder now. So I have this WordPress 5.7 folder. Now the next is copy and so we have done that second step. The third step is adding a virtual host. So to, to add a virtual host, we'll go in this file and we'll copy this. Uh, this is this is the same virtual host I have just copied it now I'll change the folder name to 5.7 and the virtual host domain will also be changed to WordPress 5.7 test okay so now that we have a, our virtual host added we also have to add the host entry in this file private etc, etc hosts so in that I already have WordPress 553.test I will add WordPress 5.7 test so it needs an admin access to update the host file that is the reason it was asking me for password okay so now that we have this domain virtual domain added to host file we have created a virtual domain as well here so once the virtual host is added, we need to restart our Apache server. So for that, let's go to the terminal. And here we need to run this command sudo apache ctl restart. Now we have restarted our server. Now the next is to create a DB in the PHP my admin. So let's go to PHP my admin and create a WordPress 57 database. So we have this WordPress 57 database now. Third is type the virtual host domain in the browser. So now that we have this domain WordPress 57.test, we'll just type in here test and now we are in the WordPress folder so this is a setup configuration we just have to follow the process now 
I'll click continue. Let's go. Now here you have to give the database name which we just created. So this is the database we created. We'll add here. This is the database username. This is the username you are using to log in to phpMyAdmin. So this is the username and the password. So in my case, the username is root. Password is this. And that's it. The database host and table prefix don't have to change anything here. Just submit. Run the installation. It will ask for some of the site titles, the username, and yeah some of the details you just have to fill it like that install wordpress yeah as you can see the wordpress is now installed you can log in to wordpress now so this is the admin dashboard or wordpress and if you want to access the main site you just click on visit site so on wordpress 57 dot test we have this latest WordPress 5.7 install and this is how you access it. So this is how you install WordPress locally on your Mac. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was of some help to you, please like this video. And there are some more videos coming related to web development and different web development frameworks. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. This is Rohan signing off.